So we're going to start this off at the tuning exams when it's Tamari versus Tenten. And at this part of the fight, absolutely nothing is happening except Tamari demonstrating that she's a part of the nation. Shout out Seiko. And at this point, that girl Tenten didn't realize she messing with real ninjas out here. She out here talking about some moon prism power. And my man Sukuna said, get that shit out of here. And you can already tell this man was cold because if you look right here in the corner, you see this girl right here is already sleep. But anyways, back to Tenten. So she throw up a few gang signs and she look at Tamari like, what set you claim, ho? And Tamari felt kind of disrespected. She looked at her like, don't you know who my brother is, you bon bon wearing bitch? And Tintin was like, you mean that nigga who got Naruto with? <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to. Okay, look, hold on. Let's be real for a second. Rock Lee looked at this man, ran around this man in full circle, hit him with that ring around the rosy technique, right? And then he looked at him like he knew he was him. And then check this out. He hit him up with that. He had Mike got praying that he wasn't going to take all his hoes with that kind of footwork. Looking like, man, my brows stay forever bushy. But anyway, Rock Lee about to catch him a sand thought, but Gar out here looking like, no man has ever loved me this way before. And Lee was like, I'm about to smash you. Lee Village style. And then he proceeded to spin this man around like he was a dreidel on Hanukkah. So Tin Tin jumps into the air and she opens up her weapons wheel, not realizing she in the wrong anime. She sits up straight and starts spamming A, B, A, B. And Tamari is unbothered. She look at her like, get that out of here. And the crazy part is that Tim Tim fell on the ground and she started looking like she was offended. Like she couldn't believe what just happened to her. So she starts stealing Conqueror's bag. And this man just up there like, First you get Naruto whipped by Tingle and now she's stealing my finger techniques. And look at this man. He just offended that this Sam's Club box is out here disrespecting his Riz. So Tamari uses Gust Attack. It is super effective. Made Ash proud. And now Tamari is at this point where she's like, I've played enough with this girl. You are not even on my level no more. So she Houdini's her and then rides around on the top of the stage for no reason. Drops down on her and hits her up with that. Ninja art. Go, 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 jutsu throws it at her, sucks her into a vortex, pause, and then cuts her up, drops her, blows her back all the way out, and then looks her in the eye and tosses her like trash. What's wrong, monkey? Check up. At this point, I just felt bad for Tintin, Ten, so let me give her an honorable mention. So there was a situation that happened here where Tintin, Neji, and Kiba were out, and Tintin actually put some hands on these little mud dogs so that way they can get away and go save Hinata. So the crazy part about this here, right, is yeah, Tintin, she shot out her little fire dragon, did her work. But check out my man's Kiba right here. This man has never been more disrespected. Akamaru out here hiding inside of his coat, afraid. You know what? Throw her away. Throw her all the way away. Actually, you know what? She doesn't deserve a regular garbage. She needs to go outside in the back with the dumpster juice hat. And she's sitting here pleased with herself like I'm finally useful to the team. But what she didn't know was that that boy Neji you to go out there and call Peter. What's wrong, monkey? Check up. And now that brings us to Sakura. So we start this off with Sakura getting her hair pulled, which is kind of reminiscent, actually, of when Piccolo was joking up Vegeta, which really makes me think that this must be the part in anime when you really know that you're scraping somebody up. And she holding her like, My favorite color is pink. You will be my concubine. And just to give you guys a little context, at this point, Lee is already scraped up. Naruto and Sasuke have both already been tucked in for bed. And you have Sakura here replaying the good old days, sitting here looking like, He's an nigga. Even with bushy eyebrows, I still get hoes. So Sakura snaps back to reality and this man is talking reckless. Listen in, I'm about to put my nuts on your chin. I dare you to try me again. So this man starts walking towards Sasuke and we know that Sakura isn't having any of that. So she pulls out her kunai and the way she looked at her, like she was in an old cafeteria roasting session. And you just knew she was about to cook. Oh, I'm on your way now. Oh, moo moo cow scarf having a... Oh, saggy titty milk having a... Oh, sound village but you ain't hear how loud that ugly ass scarf is. <laughs> And I was really on the edge of my seat because I thought she was really about to get down. And then she did the craziest. She actually cut her hair. And we all know historically, if you cut your hair, you automatically cold. Exhibit A, B, C, and D. But we should have known better. Because when you take a look back at the frame, you clearly see Eno in horror. As Sakura is looking like she was trained by Michael Vick. But the sad part is, is that they just watched her get this beating. What's wrong, monkey? Check up. So real quick, do you remember the part where Kakashi was teaching them chakra control and Sakura did it first try and was laughing at them boys? 
It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Move, bitch! What's wrong, monkey? Check up. And now we have reached the end, and we have our first two inductees of the Grocery Bag Hall of Fame. Find out who joins next time. Thank you.